our agenda for today, and I just sort of want to say just a, another brief little introduction. I really didn't know much about regulatory intelligence the first probably 10 or 15 years that I was in drug development. And on occasions, we'd find out some information on a team, and I, I have to admit I didn't really think about where it came from. Over the last probably five to 10 years, I've sort of worked more closely with regulatory and learned a lot more about regulatory intelligence and found out really where a lot of the important information that we've gotten from our teams has come from. So I'm, I have a lot of respect for what happens in the regulatory affairs departments and regulatory intelligence specifically. So hopefully I can give you the benefit of some of that experience. So what we'll talk about today is what is regulatory intelligence? Why is it important to companies? Different sources of uh, obtaining regulatory intelligence? We'll talk about monitoring the changing regulatory landscape, which those of you who've been in drug development for any amount of time know that it's constantly changing. We're going to talk about breaking down a regulatory research question into researchable units and conducting the research using a database for regulatory intelligence. And then we'll talk about summarizing and presenting those data back to the team.